Hello friends, this is your host Rakesh Kumar. In the previous video, we had discussed the piercing pattern. This video is particularly for showing you how to trade them and I will be going through a quick recap about what is a piercing pattern and then we'll explain you with the example. Before I start, I just want to remind you that if you have not subscribed to our channel yet, then you can do subscribe now. It will give you notifications of the latest video uploads and if you find this video useful for you, then don't forget to click that like button which is below the video but before we begin let us have a look at the risk disclaimer it states that the futures stocks and the options trading involve substantial amount of risk your capital is at risk the losses can exceed the investment the information is provided as is and the user of the information assumes the entire risk of any use it may make or permit to be made so let's get started Okay friends, uh, before I show you the examples, I just wanted to do a quick recap of what a piercing pattern is or how can we identify it. The first thing that we need to form a piercing pattern is there should be a downtrend first of all. Okay, so there should be a downtrend. I'll just explain it here. First we need a downtrend, small downtrend. And then at the end of the downtrend, we need a candle which is uh, red in color and which is having an open near the high of the day and close near the low of the day. So if you take this as the candle, then it should be just like that. This upper wick should be very small. This upper wick should be very very small. Okay not like this this upper wick should be either there should be no wick or it should be very small and the lower wick also should be very small or there should be no wick at all so this is how this candle should be looking like and the next day candle should open lower okay it should open lower like there should be gap down opening The opening should be gapped down. It should also have a very small lower wick and very small upper wick. So this is how it forms. But the essential criteria here is that the third essential criteria is that first is that there should be a downtrend and this should be a red candle. Second criteria is that second day it should open lower than the previous day's close. Third criteria is that whatever is the midpoint of this candle, the second candle should close at least halfway or more to the previous day's candle so this one should be so if i draw my fibonacci retracements here then whatever was this candle and whatever is this candle so you see the 50 percent is coming here so we have drawn it wrong we need to pull it higher than this so it should have closed higher than the 50 percent if you see this is how it should be looking like and if it has done so then it is called a correct piercing pattern so let us see if we can find something like this really so do you see of course you will never get the real life examples like uh, ideal examples like where you don't have shadows so you will definitely have shadows in the candlestick there are no candles without shadows but yes in this case you see there was a small downtrend here the price uh, the previous day's candle was long range candle with a close near the low of the day and the next day there was an opening which was lower than the previous day's close price went higher and closed more than halfway of the midway halfway of the opening okay i am just uh, doing this so where is the 50 percent here is the 50 percent line but the candle closed higher than this line so it even closed higher than 61.8 so yesterday you have must have seen the dark cloud cover it is just reverse of the dark cloud cover if you have not seen dark cloud cover uh, you can go browse through the previous videos in the playlist and you will find them so you see that this pattern here is giving you an indication that the price will go into the upward direction for the next four to five days if you can see for four to five days it keeps going upward then goes sideways and then started starts coming down but how are you going to trade this 
you are going to place a buy order here at the high of this candle and keep a stop loss below the low of this candle and expect the price to reach the next resistance now in this case what are what is going to be the next resistance this was a support here you can also draw support and resistance line here there was a support uh, support now you can expect this to turn into resistance or otherwise you can simply or you can simply see the previous resistance here this was a huge resistance i must say because the price came back from here and you can expect the price to reach this place but in this particular example i must say that it did not achieve the targets uh, to, up to this point and also you have to notice that if your buying price and your stop loss is huge and it does not give you one is to three risk to reward which is bare minimum that is required because in this case if there was 384 points is what we are going to risk so we need at least uh, 3 4 to the 12 or approximately 1140 points is what we need so if there is no potential of 1140 points then i will not take this trade there was a potential of approximately 1140 so i would have taken this trade although i would have uh, not hit my uh, take profit target in this case but still i would have taken this uh, trade so this is one way of doing it this is now another way in this case you see i think uh, the previous you can see that from here you find that this area was giving a lot of support to the price not this particular area but this the price uh, did not want to close below this although it closed here but eventually it uh, shooted higher and you see you can see what happened after that from this support so i was expecting when the price was coming to this area again not only me but everybody would have expected that uh, this area will serve as a support for the price and this is where we have to look for this type of price action that is the piercing pattern now this is an ideal piercing pattern i will just remove this rectangle so that you can see clearly you see we were expecting something bullish here and uh, this piercing pattern came now after looking at this pattern i time and again you will be definitely able to see it when it happens you have three days of down move and then suddenly a gap down comes right on the demand zone and suddenly the price shoots to the higher side and close more than the 50% of previous day's candle okay it closed higher than the 50% just right higher than the 50% candle and then eventually see what happened for next 4 to 5 days there was just buying and buying because this was unexpected the price was going down down and people are expecting that it will go keep going down but eventually it got bought because suddenly the demand zone came on the way so this is what you have to take advantage of now the third and the last example is from agk and here also you see there was a small down move and then people thought that okay this low is taken out now the candle has closed lower you see but this was a support zone you see interestingly this was a support here this was a support here then this was resistance here it supported the price twice in this region three times this region so why should not it act as a support this time also so this was a valid support zone people were expecting that this is of course the buyers only i'm talking about those who were bullish uh, th those who were had bullish bias they were looking for a buying opportunity and when the day closed in the red to the down people were expecting oh, okay now it has closed in the red so the selling will continue but no the buyers jumped in they closed the day more than middle of the previous day's candle that shown a bullish signal to the buyers okay now the trend has reversed so they came in the next day and they did not even let one particular cent down from this price and the price kept on going with a high momentum with a long range so you can understand how strong this pattern is if it is coming at a support zone so you look for the support zones or the demand zones for such a pattern if it occurs and this uh, particular pattern i am telling you is not going to occur on the daily charts of the currencies it will only occur on the stocks or commodities which are traded daily basis uh, but on the weekly charts of the currencies you can expect such pattern 
and if you are able to find a hold of one pattern of such uh, uh, such uh, significance then i think you will be making a good amount of money but i must tell you that if you are going to trade this pattern then you have to keep a stop loss below the candles low this white candles low and you have to uh, adjust your stop in such a way i will tell you how if this was your buying but the previous resistance was this so this is what you have to target in this case that's all okay and if you before you take position you have to calculate this if it is not three times what you have risked whatever is your stop loss in this case our uh, uh, approximate uh, expectation is 10000 points and our stop loss was approximately 3000 points so it is more than 1 is to 3 so i will very comfortably take this uh, position but how much share i would buy so i will only buy that much of shares so that in case my stop loss gets hit then even then i should not lose more than 1% from my account balance so if my account balance is say $10000 so i should not lose more than $100 if this uh, uh, this trade goes against me i hope you have understood so you have to take only those much of shares or those much of position uh, do you uh, you have to take only that much of exposure that it should not um, it should not uh, give you a loss of more than $100 if you are uh, risking 1% and i will not recommend risking more than 1% on uh, any account uh, on any trade any single trade with this note i will end this video thank you very much for watching